Retail story is actually pretty simple. You know, in retail, we look at three things. We look at consumer confidence. We look at, believe it or not, the price of gasoline. And we look at the unemployment numbers. And when you take all those three things in consideration, we are rocking and rolling right now. However, the big elephant in the room is what's going on with these tariffs. And remember, in apparel, in footwear, in accessories, we buy six to nine months in advance. So everything is just great right now. It's very distressing when the president uh, tweets out, you know, tariffs are the greatest. Well, you know, tariffs are not the greatest. What percentage of retail products are getting tar uh, have tariffs on them right now? Well, it's rising rather quickly. The rhetoric is rising quickly. First, we had a tranche of 36 billion. Then it went 16 more to 50 billion. Now we're in discussions on 200 billion. And apparel and footwear and accessories will get hit in this next tranche. Actually, in the fourth tranche that hasn't been announced yet, will be hit the hardest. In the third tranche, they got handbags, hats, wallets. How about getting hit in your own but, wallet? But retailers right now aren't paying it, right? It's just anticipated it's that it's anticipated, coming. It's anticipated. It. It. But inflation gets baked into the system. Remember, we're buying in advance. So if people are trying to exit China to get product, it's raising the cost elsewhere. Prices will go up. We will have that famous triple negative. Prices will go up. Jobs will go down. Is that you why uh, volume at shipping ports is pretty good right now? Is there a lot of pull forward? There's a lot of pull forward. People are bringing in as early as they can. And we encourage everyone who's shopping for back to school might want to buy two backpacks this year <laughs> instead of one because prices oh. will go up. So, Rick, how much of apparel and handbags in this country is actually made in China? Because so much of it has been relocated to Vietnam and Indonesia. And, I mean, Jay Sol was here from UBS the other day saying tapestry is barely exposed on the supply side to China. I, I give tapestry a lot of credit. I know them well. They've been working on this since five years ago, trying to relocate out of China. And Michael Kors is similar, relocating, planning for the future. But that had a lot to do with costs rising in China. But today, 41% of all apparel comes out of China, 72% of all footwear, 84% of lot. all accessories. We are Here's stuck. So you raise us 25%. I tell the consumer, watch out. Are, are you, can I just ask, are yes. you more concerned about this or remember how we went to town on border tax for almost a year? Border how does this compare? Happen. Well, I lost 10 pounds on border <laughs> tax. I will lose 20 pounds if these tariffs hit. You know, it's bad enough to talk 10 percent. Then you talk 25 percent. Then you talk another Here's 200 the thing. billion. The president sees the results from these retailers and he's going to feel emboldened. If not now, then when? Well, right? uh, he's, look, everybody's doing great. This is now the time that we can afford to do this. You know, you know what? Everybody thought the Hindenburg was a good idea. We know what happened with that. So you got to be careful. Right now, things are good. Things could get bad. You can give the president a lot of credit for being ahead of the curve and bringing the idea of intellectual property and transfer of technology to the forefront. That's a good discussion. But tariffs, tar we've always I mean, lost on tariffs. Just